This year's walk has added significance in that it will, for the first time, retrace the exact route taken by the people in whose memory it is organised. The people began walking through Delphi, just as we will do shortly. But when they arrived, they were refused food or admission to the workhouse. It was on their return journey that many, some say hundreds, died. Hunger has become a business, and food, the food system is, has become a business, an international business defined by financial corporations and transnational corporations, seed companies, fertilizer companies. And that, that business produces, on one hand, one billion hungry people, but it also produces obesity. It produces environmental damage. To a, it, it causes a huge amount of climate change, uh, and it causes social damage to rural communities who see their livelihoods uh, disappear. Food sovereignty offers a response uh, to this failure of this system. Well, the Irish famine is now history. Poverty, chronic hunger, and malnutrition continue to threaten nations and sub-regions, and many people have and continue to die of hunger. Famine and spare food insecurity in Somalia claimed the life of about 258,000 people between October 2010 and 2012, including 193,000 children under the age of five. When someone dies and they pass on in my culture, we are careful not to mention their name afterward when we're speaking about them, uh, unless we deliberately want to invoke them. When we say, our kindred dead, or they still have attachments to these names that uh, they were given here on this earth. And so today, uh, as we're retracing the steps of some of these people whose names that we bear, uh, will be uh, remembered uh, through. Uh, I have no doubt that they'll be among us as well. Today, we, the staff of Delphi Lodge, are honoured to open the gates and welcome you all as should have been done all them years ago. You cannot go from bare of foot who walk ten miles at seven years. You took your little sister's hand and walked her to the poor house. And when they had but room for one, you left your little sister there, and faint with hunger all day long, you walked the ten miles back again. <laughs> 